and just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight, we'll be back in just a moment. Hello and thanks for joining us folks for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The guard pair aids Doncic and Hardaway. Vinny Smith in at the forward with Porzingis as the other. And it's Cauley Stein in at the center, filling out the middle. For the Clippers, post tandem for him, Morris and Zubac. Bledsoe is out there with Jackson, and it's George in at the three, the small forward. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their game. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason. Now, here's Doncic. Benny Smith passes to Cauley Stein. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Doncic off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Guys, you never know what you'll see when you're watching Luka Doncic. His offensive creativity is through the roof. Here's Jackson. Lighted by Porzingis. Five to shoot. Shoots. And he gets the friendly spin and that one drops. Uh, Bledsoe knows he's got the green light there to just rise up and shoot it. He did it there. Down low, here's Persingas. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. It's easy to forget about Jackson's bunnies, but he's more than happy to remind you. Donchich outside, fires from the wing. Rebounded by Jackson. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money, so when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Bledsoe. Outside, George. Back to Bledsoe. Here's the three. Offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. The Mavericks have gone two of three here to start out the game. Doncic against Jackson. To the inside. Porzingis can't hit. So for Dallas, their last game a win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. While we know Zubats can eat up space inside, Brent, great job of securing rebounds. Yeah, obviously, if he was playing starter minutes or anywhere approaching 30 minutes, Zubats is going to be in double figures, ripping down both offensive and defensive things on the glass. What's impressed me about him, though, is he's got great hands on the inside and has now become a very viable roll target. Holly Stein doing what he does best on offense, looking to throw it down. The drive by Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Doncic kicks to Porzingis. And here is Doncic. Last game, 26 points. Epic counts. Did, did it feel like Porzingis knew there was a defender there? Man, he just brushed him off. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Teron Lou and I had a few minutes to share. He was effusive in his praise for Luka Doncic, particularly citing his strength for such a young age. Coach said he can convert through contact. He's hard to back down in the post, and he's an excellent rebounder. Their goal, or maybe their hope, is to match his physicality. Kevin? Thank you, David. Down it goes, is their best in. He's now three for four. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by four. Last time they met was in Los Angeles, where they beat the Clippers. 
Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc. Two minutes remaining. The turnover margin was well within their favor, and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. The defense tried, but Doncic gets through. Luka able to put a smooth release on the shot despite the contact. Now, here is George. 26 points for him last game against Dallas. Well, what helps that out a lot is he got to the free throw line, which was a real game changer. It slowed down the opposition's momentum and made them play to his team stop. And stolen by Coley Stein. By the way, that's a two-pointer. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. George looking over the floor. Baseline jumper. Mavericks with the rebound. 105 left to play here in the first. And Cauley Stein throws it down. Maybe the length coming into play this time for Cauley Stein is he's up and over the top of everyone. Jackson against Doncic. Jackson with the bounce pass. Outside, George. The shot, no good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Here's Doncic. Drops in the layup for two. Doncic has got six. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's George. Offensive struggles continue missing again. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Here's Doncic. There's the three. No good that time. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Mavericks lead by four. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Mavericks. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters from the goal. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So for the Clippers right now, Jackson is the point with Kennard on the wing. Marcus Morris is out there with Hartenstein, and it's George in at the three spot. Here's Doncic. Paul George making his last shot. The shot. That doesn't go either for Doncic. The Clippers trail. And for so long in Indiana, Paul George was that guy. But boy, I tell you, he's been a good sidekick the last few years. Well, he's been amazing and continues to be a little bit undervalued in the way that people assume Paul George's offensive and defensive game as a collective and the way it impacts winning, especially playing alongside Kawhi Leonard. Didn't have to take as much of the offensive load if he didn't want to. But Paul George still gets it done. Here's Jackson after Luka Doncic's bucket. Good on the triple. George has got five points now this quarter. Think about the rookie year that PG had where he shot under 30% from the three-point line. But all that tireless work in the offseason and now such a vital part of his game. Now here's Porzingis. Really played well against the Clippers in his last outing. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's George. Jackson looking around, and there's the whistle, the illegal screen. Here's a look at the schedule now for Dallas. On Saturday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. And then on Monday, They'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And it's going to be home game after home game after home game for this group. So they got a great chance to string together a number of wins given how strong they've been playing. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So 
towards the Mavericks now. Passes it to Doncic. Three on the clock. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by George. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Doncic kicks to Brunson. Good, and the assist Jim goes to Brunson. Doncic. Doncic has got three assists tonight. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Here's Hartenstein. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And Brent, we're seeing a lot of new officials joining the NBA ranks. Any changes you see resulting from that? Well, I, I think this is a time for coaching staffs and, and teams to be a little bit more patient with the, with the officials than they have been in the past as they're trying to understand the rhythm and flow of not just the game and the way it needs to be called, but the communication between the players and the coaches and how you try to work towards still having a great product on the floor and not having the refs impact the game in ways to get talked about that they don't want to be spoken about. Now, Doncic, Paul George missing from long range. Barry's the long range jumper. Oh, great ball movement there. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard keeps it simple. He says, I'm trying to be the best player I can be. I'm happy with what I've done in my career, and I'm just going to keep on from there. It's not about being famous. It's about playing basketball and having fun on the floor. Well, he is famous, Kevin, and he remains focused on the court. Agreed, David. It has served him well. Thank you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Kennard has had some injury struggles in the early part of his career, but every time he comes back, he's hitting the ground running and gets himself back into a good offensive rhythm. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Los Angeles. The Mavericks also with a sub. Hardaway's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Doncic against Kinnar. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Kevin, everybody's dissected Luka's offensive game, trying to find that weakness. Just here to tell you, I don't think he has any. And the play of Doncic drawing comparisons to so many all-time greats. But Greg, the one that stood out to me, they said he's a combination of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. What do you think? And it just makes sense. With his passing and shooting, you throw in the step-back game of James Harden, you start to see why he has become such a problem for this league. And, and you know you're special when you're drafted third and people still can't believe you slipped that far. That's how good Doncic has been in his young career. Eric Bledsoe has checked in for Kennard. Free throws good from Doncic. And Greg, at the time of the 2018 draft, Luka Doncic was regarded as the best international prospect ever. And that sounds right because, you know, coming from Europe, a lot of people assume that he's got a low ceiling, but he's surpassing all those expectations. Doncic against George. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. George has got seven now in this quarter. Now here's Brunson. Two minutes remain in the first half. Two minutes. Up top, Porzingis. Defended by Ibaka. Six to shoot. Here's Brunson. It's hauled in by George. George has got his fourth rebound in this one. One thirty-six left to play in the first half. Now 
Jamal Jackson. He's coming off a 31-point game against Dallas. And he also controlled the boards. He just seemed to be in the right position every time the ball came off the rim. Here's Doncic, following the score by Reggie Jackson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. All right, a chance to look at the stats for Brunson. Last season's performance for him, he averaged about 12 points per game last year. Three assists and three rebounds. And he's putting in the effort, and you can see him getting better with time. So many little things that you have to learn to grow as a player. He's just going through a bit of that process right now. That free throw good from Doncic and didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Dwight Powell's checked in for Perzingis. Second free throw, no good. And it feels like Doncic has risen to stardom so fast. His drive to be an all-time great is very evident. Jackson from long range. It's in he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. With the drive, and it's blocked. And a rare block shot from Morris anticipates the move and just times it out perfectly. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And, and you don't like to concede the free throws, but it's better than getting flushed on. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. We're at about an 82% clip a season ago, so I'm sure he'll take those numbers. First free throw is good. And, and Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. All free throws good from Jackson. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's Brunson, outside Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Not a bad shot from the mid-range, but he's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. And it's George missing. So Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. They've led by as much as 10. One second left. Underneath the clock. Caught it. He caught it. That's how you do it. Stay patient, wait for the opportunity, and boom. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Dallas. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Teron Lou. Coach, what is the focus going to be in the second half? Just play the right way. Cool the ball, share the ball, get stops and get out and run the transition. Always leads to good results. Thanks, Teron. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Luka Doncic has been the story in this one. He had 16 points, four assists, and three rebounds. It's hard to imagine how he could have been any better in the first two quarters. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? What you like is many of their baskets come off assists. 
that's a sign of a team that's working together and functioning at a high level. No need to have this hero ball where I'm going to shoot and no one else is going to get the ball. Nope, they moved it, and we'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Their defense has been dismal, allowing their opponent to shoot in the 60s. I'm sure they're getting the earful in the locker room. Amazing they've been able to keep it close. Boy. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. based on how close of a game it's been so far. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half, I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jason Kidd. Hardaway on the wing, along with Finney Smith. Holly Stein is out there with Porzingis, and it's Doncic in at the one. Mavericks leading by four, inside, stolen by Zubac. Jackson from long range. Dallas has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. And good, got the English that time as it falls. And he's such a polished shooter. You can't give Doncic these kinds of opportunities, or well, he's gonna burn you. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got rebound number five here tonight. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for three. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board and the advantage they have starting to increase. Things are coming together for them at a really opportune time. Coaches always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter. They have definitely increased their energy level here. And that one is good from Zubac. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 18. Outside, Brzingis. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his sixth assist on the night. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's George. Nine points in the game so far. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Doncic looking it over. To the middle, here's Porzingis, and the dunk by Porzingis. You gotta appreciate Porzingis, a willing screener, and he rolls quick to the open space. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now here's Jackson, 13 points in the game. Bloodsoe outside. Off target from three-point range. Dallas leading by 11. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Here's Doncic. Can't hit from in close. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Outside, George. Looking to get back on track here. Porzingis with the block. And shooters must beware. Porzingis is down there lurking. Here's Doncic. Coley Stein trying to free himself up. And Doncic gets it to go. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Pass to George. To stop the run. Well, it's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And we all know. George brings offensively, but it's his ability as a defender that stands out. Great instincts to make plays on that end of the floor. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Mann comes in for George, and it's Luke Kennard in for Jackson. 
A tremendous Mobile One block that we had to see again. Great send back. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Ludzo against Hardaway. Five on the clock. And again, no good by the Clippers. And with Paul George and his defense, Greg, you almost forget how great of an impact it makes. He just kind of flies under the radar with his defensive play. I mean, this guy could be considered for the defensive player of the year almost every year. One of the more disruptive forces on that end of the floor. And Dutch gets it to go. Yeah, there's a feel that Porzingis Clippers has to the game and the more comfortable he is in these kind of settings, he'll rack up some assists. And the Clippers call time here. Yeah, trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Now it is checked in for Holy Stone. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Hardaway. Here's Zubats. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Zubats has got six. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Now the pass to Brunson. Powell against Zubats. And here's Dodgett from the arc. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Bledsoe. They get it back. Zubats finds Kennard. Here's Mann. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. I just think that's trouble. You're going you're gonna to let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Doncic with it. 23 points in the game. Top of the key, Porzingis. Back to Doncic. Takes a three. And he's good on the three ball. Doncic has got 10 points here in the second half. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. 43 seconds left to play in the third. Count that bucket. And I like the different looks that Morris can give you inside, outside, and in transition. Kennard against Doncic. Over Kennard. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Doncic has got 28. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Zubac trying to break loose. Foul Shooting foul, foul as the whistle two blows. Foul. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. It's on Przingis. Yeah, that's some physical defense that's against Morris who attacks with Morris one of his many Morris moves. Senior. And we'll two just shots. see what he does here at the line. The first one at the line is good. And a guy who's bounced around the league a little. Surprising given that Morris is a solid shooter and a pretty good defender and rebounder. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Driving to the basket. Can't cash in from close range. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks. And let's take a listen now to Coach Teron Liu. Hey, we got to get more physical down on the end, man. We got to get some stuff. If we don't get stuff, it's going to be a long night for us. Well, GA focusing on the physicality of the game. He clearly wants more aggressiveness. And understandable. Setting the tone on defense critical if you want to get this win. 
and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So with George on the bench, here's who Teron Luz going with. Baca is out there with the Vince Zubas. Then there's Bledsoe. Then it's Luke Kunar. And it's Mann in at the small forward position. Here's Nilakina. Kunar covering. The shot's Frank, good from Nilakina. Nilakina. Uh, Frank looking better and better here on the offensive end. Clippers trail by 18. And here's Kennard. It's Bledsoe on the wing. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his second personal foul. First and what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Mavericks? Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. And it's a feel-good night from behind the three-point line, racking up a ton of threes. Free throw drops for Eric Bledsoe. Just Eric Bledsoe, when he's in these games and, and you can see he's got hyper focus, he can become a big, big problem. Athletic, plays both ends of the floor, and that power from him at the guard position is, is very unique. George is checked in for the Clippers. Jackson comes in for Luke Kennard. And Eric Bledsoe drops them both. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Dallas leading by 16. Pass to Brunson. From the arc. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Pass to George. He takes... Oh, wow! Oh, Paul George, dunk contest. Hey, maybe a little over, but I love to see him get up. Pass to Brunson. Quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. And he buries that Dude, one, Brunson. trailing the rim on the way down. And the Mavericks lead by 16. Here's George. Sinks that one from the post. George has got four this quarter. Paul George has such a deep bag on the offensive end. A polished scorer and tough to keep him away from hot spots on the floor. Here's Nilakina. Here's Brunson. And a miss there on the triple. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Mavericks leading by 14. Driving in, uses the glass to finish the lane. And then those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Jackson passes to Zubats. Takes it to George. Bledsoe against Brunson. It's George on the wing. Good on the bucket. 15 points for George. Just surveying the defense. And Paul George had enough room to get that one off. The pass to Powell. Here's Nilakina. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. To the lane, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Nilakina wanting to be assertive, and the coaching staff encouraging that kind of play. To the paint, shot is good, and the Mavericks lead has got back down to 14 after they get the hoop from Bloodsoe. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here's Brunson. Here's for three. Connects from three-point range. Brunson. Three point Brunson's nine. got seven points here in this quarter. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Great open look there. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitor. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Dallas calls timeout. And now a moment to prove. 
present the New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Shoots off the step back. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Doncic has got 30. In the mid-range, no longer a challenge for Doncic. He has rapidly become one of the best three-level scorers in the game. Now here's Bledsoe. Puts it up from 12, and again the Clippers good for two. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there, the assist really the key to that entire sequence. Doncic outside. Beyond the arc. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So the Clippers will take it the other way. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight will be a win by a large margin for the Mavericks. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at Sydney. Yeah, they, they sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Luka Doncic. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way, too. That one drops for him. But at this point, they're just trying to get back and see. You want to play a good brand of basketball. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Paul George can be dangerous out in transition. Great job finishing there. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. Now, here's Doncic. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So what made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, had a great game. You know, we had a. I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it, Kevin. Back to you.